Greetings eaters and welcome to my kitchen in really not very sunny Las Vegas. It's definitely windy Las Vegas today. It is definitely fall and uh, we're continuing with our fall comfort food series with a fourth week of soup. I've got casseroles too but I am in soup mode right now. I want soup so we're going to keep rolling with that. Uh, I think the, the last video I shot I made um, chicken matzo ball soup. My wife ate all the matzo balls and so now I want more matzo balls. But uh, uh, now you know how to do it. I would just say maybe make more matzo balls if you have people who uh, like that eating with you. But uh, today we're going to make tortilla chicken soup. And this is going to be a little bit of a review from chicken matzo ball. Because I use just my regular chicken soup recipe as a base for several of my recipes. Um, there's also a version with wild rice. It's basically just make it exactly the same way, but instead of noodles, get the bistro blend from Winco or wherever you're able to get like a, a nice like mix of wild rice, brown rice, red rice, white rice, whatever, and put that in there. But today it is the tortilla chicken soup, and we're going to break this into two parts. So we're going to start with the chicken soup portion. So here's the review portion from last week. I have my 12 quart stock pot. It's about half full of water. I have boiled it. You can see it's steaming. We're going to put a chicken in there. This chicken to be specific. I buy those in a two pack at Costco or Winco. Okay so the chicken's in. So then we're going to put one third cup of chicken base in there. So you, if you're using bouillon cubes, that's about 16 bouillon cubes of the regular variety. Uh, eight of the double size that I used last week, the matzo ball, doesn't matter what you use. This is on sale at Sam's Club right now for a good price. So we're going with that. So one third of that, dropping right in the pot there. Then the vegetables, we have celery, six stalks of celery. We have the carrots, so about two regular sized carrots, uh, probably a couple, more than a couple dozen of these. Um, I just took two big handfuls and cut them up. One onion, one onion this size, or bigger if you like onion a lot. And then we've got the garlic, and with the garlic, you put however much you want in there. I'm going to do two handfuls of it. I get the pre-peeled stuff, as we've mentioned before, so that makes it a little easier to work with. So, two handfuls of that. Okay, then we're going to give it a blast of the uh, sriracha magic sauce here. Again, not so much that my wife will complain that it's spicy. She did actually say it was a little too spicy last week with the matzo ball, so I'm cutting down a little bit. And then we have black pepper. I'm just going to put in, just shake in a bit. And Mrs. Dash, which is always great, in soup. Put in a bit of that. That's probably, probably go up to a quarter of a cup of it and it would be good, but it's just a lot of dehydrated vegetables. Uh, Italian seasoning. I'm going to open the, the big end here. Dump in a bit. It's probably a couple of tablespoons of that. And we're going to throw in some bay leaves. Three to be exact. So there's one, two, three. These are the dried kind. I do have a bay leaf bush. Um, not using that today. So, now this stuff's all together. Now that I've added all this stuff to it, the thing is about two thirds full. So I'm going to cook this for an hour on medium high heat with the, with the uh, lid slightly ajar. Okay, so that's on, that's cooking for an hour, and like I said, we're going to divide this up into two parts. Um, after this is cooked for an hour, I'm going to pull out the chicken, I'm going to debone it, and then I'm going to add tomato sauce, black beans, corn, some lemon juice. Uh, you can add cilantro if you like. I don't, I like cilantro and salsa, but not so much in soup, but if you like it, go nuts. That's very popular in this. Uh, maybe a little cayenne pepper as well. Uh, and uh, we'll do that, but uh, before we uh, stop and let this boil, let's have a look at shoes. So since it's fall, I'm wearing slippers and pajamas. These are Woolrich slippers. They normally go for 40 to 50 bucks. I found them on sale for like 10 bucks at Nordstrom's Rack and knew they had to come home with me. So there you go. Full fall theme today. And for a restaurant recommendation, last night uh, we had other plans but ended up get, having those plans get blown up and so we ended up just grabbing a pizza, but I'm not going to eat Pizza Hut or Domino's because I have more self-respect than that. So we tried a new place that's actually probably the closest 
uh, pizza spot to our house. I mean, I don't know, I've developed Pizza Hut blindness, so if any of those exist, I just don't see them because my brain blocks them out. Same with Domino's and Little Caesars and all of those, but we tried a place called Old School Pizzeria, and it was great. Like, it was really good. I mean, I'd, I'd put it, I mean, better than most stuff in Seattle. I mean, uh, except for Zeke's and Pagliacci, but uh, um, definitely for here. I mean, the crust was crisp and crackly, but also chewy. The toppings were good. The price was on par with pizzas like that. And it's less than two miles from my house. So now that's a problem because proximity of good food is not good for my girlish figure. But uh, in any case, uh, old school pizzeria right here. It's uh, basically at... Uh, I don't know, it's on Blue Diamond between Cimarron and Buffalo. So very good. And we're going to go ahead and let this cook for, for about an hour and then we will uh, assemble the rest of the ingredients. So we'll be back. Okay, chicken's been simmering for about an hour. So we're going to pop it on out. Let it cool off so we can shred it. Now, first, uh, first things first, let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and blend up our vegetables into our soup. Okay, and as I always point out, if you like your soup chunky, don't do that. All right, next up, tomato sauce. We're gonna do two cans of it. And I like to rinse out the can and put that water in there too. So, we also have here corn and we have black beans. We're going to set these aside. They're going in at the end. We're going to add a couple of cups of rice. Just recommend long grain rice. We have one quarter cup of chili powder, and it doesn't say chili powder, I know it says celery salt, but uh, I buy my chili powder in bulk at Winco, and I think an empty celery salt container I use to put it in. Next, we have tahini. I'd put like a couple of tablespoons worth of this in here. Pop this a little bit off. Let's add some good chili lime flavoring. And you can use cayenne pepper as well. Um, if you use cayenne pepper, use about half a half of a uh, teaspoon. So we're going to go for two teaspoons of cumin. Don't want it to be too strong. And then we are going to add the juice of two limes. And I'm going to actually put the peel in here to cook in here so we get a little lime flavor to it. And we'll pull that out before we serve. So we're going to give this a stir. We're going back on the, back on the range. Uh, we're going to cook it until the rice is tender. So that's going to be 15-20 minutes or so on medium high heat. Almost forgot, we're gonna add a little Cholula sauce as well. You can use Tapatio, uh, whatever you want, just something to kind of kick it up, kick up the flavor a little bit. So I'm just gonna dump a little of this in there. It's already on the range, I'm gonna hop over and do it. This has been simmering for about 20 to 30 minutes. The rice is ready to go. I actually dumped a few cups of water in uh, to kind of cool it off a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and put in the chicken. So uh, if you remember, Matzo ball soup, I deboned the chicken. I just use the white meat, but you can use the dark meat if you like. But I popped it in my KitchenAid and gave it a few spins to shred it. So that's going in. Okay, and then we have about four cups of frozen corn. You can use canned corn, whatever you like. I buy this at Costco or Sam's Club, usually Costco. and then just two cans of black beans don't need to drain them just do the whole thing and we're gonna go ahead and give it a stir 
Okay, so we're ready here. I'm gonna go ahead and ladle some into my bowl. And you can put cheese on this too if you like. I don't like. I like cheese, I just don't need it with this. Okay. So, that's what that looks like. Okay. So there you go, tortilla chicken soup. And we're gonna finish it with tortilla chips. Uh, you can use whatever kind of tortilla chips you like. I happen to have Fritos on hand. I actually have a bag already open here. I'm gonna use some of that. Um, I usually crumble them up, but I don't think I'm gonna need to so much with the Fritos. So, I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that on top. There it is. Tortilla chicken soup. This is a delicious recipe. I love it. Uh, some of my kids like it. Some of my kids are not into this kind of thing, but uh, uh, for the most part, uh, everyone that I, uh, most of the people I serve it to, I shouldn't say everyone, but most of the people I serve it to like this quite a bit and ask where you put sour cream in there, you can add more hot sauce. So, there it is, another uh, delicious creation. I'm going to say, let's look at the timing on this. I probably, prep time was probably under 20 minutes, but you have to wait for everything to cook. It takes an hour for the chicken to simmer, and then you have to take another uh, 20 to 30 minutes for the rice to cook in there and combine things. So this is one of those things where your total prep time is not too bad, but you kind of have to set timers and come and go to make sure that you uh, get everything in as it's going along. Uh, apologies to our guest, Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, no squirrel in this in, in this uh, particular soup, but maybe someday we'll learn about Jimmy Kimmel and his squirrel pie. Please like and follow us on all of our social channels. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Rumble, YouTube is our primary, we're on TikTok, we're also on LinkedIn and Tumblr. Uh, come back for more content, content, excuse me, come back for more content. And if you attempt to make this recipe yourself, please tag us and share pictures, we love it. So uh, in any case, I'm gonna eat this because it smells awesome right now. So uh, until next time, keep on eating.